very few people can say that they have been in the White House Situation Room. You now join their ranks. Yeah, that's going to cause problems. I think we should go with number one because we do not want to involve NATO. Because they're environmentalists. The Situation Room experience is a modern, fictional foreign policy crisis simulation. Students are assigned one of 40 unique roles, and then they are thrown into a story. But this isn't a classroom. The students are in charge. They make decisions that change the outcome of the narrative. The Situation Room experience is for high school students, adults, different organizations that want to know more about what it takes to make major decisions in the midst of crisis. At its core, this simulation is about people talking to each other and making decisions together. What you see is that students have to cooperate. You see genuine leadership emerge. If you're going to do that, should we just say the vice president is going to just come to the situation room? What happens a lot of times is that students who might look like they're not as interested as some of the others turn into the ones who really take charge and who really come out of their shells. They feel like they have a better understanding of how challenging it can be to make decisions under pressure with limited amount of time and with limited information. Whoever let that out, I don't think that's true. Students get information in real time from their tablets. We give them communications that happen over the course of the experience. And many of these communications are based on actual documents from the National Archives. Students are engaging with primary sources. So we use a lot of new technologies that are available for this type of application, cloud-based technologies, web-based technologies, utilizing pretty high-powered content server and really relying on that content server to be able to deliver all the different video assets that needed to be produced for the simulation and the scenario. The second option is definitely not an option. Yeah. Not doing we looked at the events of what happened in March of 1981 and that became the basis of the entire scenario. What were people in that room thinking? And then we said, what if? From the moment they step into the room, they're fully engaged and we expect that, but to see it is completely different. The most surprising thing is that they really get into their roles and suddenly they're no longer students, they're actual members of a crisis management team or a press team or part of the executive office of the president. They almost forget who they are in that moment. Oh, no, no, I, 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 I need the name, I need the name. Okay. This experience is unique. It's not like something you can get anywhere else. It's an interactive game, not for one person, but for 40. Everyone has a chance to affect outcome at various stages of the scenario. And this is something that's only possible now because of where we are in terms of technology. We're not reinventing events from the past. Rather, we're getting students to immerse themselves in a crisis that's frankly overwhelming. Well, you know, in the end, you just have to come see it to see the real power of what's happening here. It's pretty okay. awesome. Everyone except for the secondary say out here now.